charge the Lift Valley Law Society branch and other court users to actively cooperate as you have always done and work with the judges to ensure that this target of expeditious resolution of appeals is realized. For example, uh, for the past one year, we've been trying to do away with the idea of adjournment of matters. Once they are set down for hearing, we've been urging you to embrace and support this new approach in case management geared towards ensuring timely disposal of cases. We've been advocating for a case management system that enables the court to take charge of matters once they have been filed. They no longer, they come to court so that they are hand and disposed of. And we have been saying when they are filed, three things will happen. The case will proceed to a hearing. The council will also have an opportunity to withdraw it and take it for court and next mediation. And if they cannot, then the court will dismiss the case because we must deal with it. A key ally in this endeavor of ensuring that we work for the people that we serve has been identified, Your Excellency, to be the county governments and also uh, the body called the Council of Governors. We in the judiciary have developed a close working relationship with the Council of Governors and counties in building partnerships to address the justice needs of our people because we serve the same people. These collaborative efforts have targeted the infrastructural needs of the judiciary to enable us realize the goal of having a magistrate's court in all the sub-counties, what we now call constituencies. We have mapped out this uh, Nakuru County and it is apparent that there are some constituencies that do not have a court. Uh, this is uh, Kuresoi North and Kuresoi South. Rongai, Subukia, Joro, Gyogyo, and Bahati still do not have magistrates' court stations. We look forward to working with you, Your Excellency, and your government in addressing uh, these gaps in ensuring that our people do not have to travel long distances. So we will work very closely to address the infrastructural needs to meet this goal. This includes acquisition of land, and thank you very much for the land you have already given us, but you can hear the need is still increasing. So we need to also avail services to these uh, seven constituencies. So we will continue uh, working together with our people to see how best we can serve them. And to conclude, the launch of the Court of Appeal Nakuru is a major milestone in our quest to address the justice gap in terms of access to appellate justice by the people of this expansive Rift Valley region. Our hope is that judges, advocates, and the court users will all work together to make this court a model court to be emulated by others. As we keep on saying and repeating, we judges can never, never achieve our objectives without the support of all the stakeholders because justice is a shared responsibility. And with those few remarks,